<laughs> Story number seven. Standing in the middle of a war between each generation. Story number seven brings to light the idea of every country having to understand that every generation is fighting a war that they believed in when they were younger, something that may have inspired them, something, even a, a song, music. Well, we have uh, Greta Thunberg, and uh, she's been circulating in, in uh, a lot of stories about how she's got uh, gifts. She may be, uh, have, I believe it's uh, autism, and she may have uh, some type of uh, social disorder. It may be her gift. This story has been circulating in many circles. Uh, it's caught a lot of people's attention because she is determined to get the younger generation to understand climate change. And, and she's, she's used the global platform to get her point across. They've been striking. And uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting story that, uh, that the, re the reason why it's in the top two, because it shows you that in every era, in every generation, somebody has to take a stance towards something that they believe in. Some people die for these causes. Some people go to the extreme. They spend their whole lives uh, trying to prove a point. And uh, it's, it's fueling the next generation. It's showing you that younger people are staying informed they are achieving what adults wanted to achieve, and that's activism, and that's even those with, who are considered special. Uh, they have special needs. We all have this something wrong with us, but it gives us that inspiration to, to try to figure out what is motivating even a child to do this. And it, it, it's an inspiring. And then it brings us to reality. The facts is that the data is showing that things are happening to the globe. Is the data correct? Is science really trying to get our attention? Is nature really trying to get our attention? That's why story number seven made it to the top two, because it, it shows you that every generation, even when it comes to conservatives battling for conservative issues, liberals battling for liberal issues, uh, the intellect, the informed, the uninformed, why everybody should have a voice in, a, in the world, and not only just their country, but on the world, on the world to show that something is happening it's something every everything changes but uh I, at first i i was a little bit doubtful of uh this story i, I was but I, as i looked into the details it, it showed me that uh that even that every that even people people need to be active children need to be active on something and this girl has found something to motivate her u.s income inequality worsens widening and uh they're saying that there's a new generational gap that that this new generation can't keep can't seem to keep up with the policies and the rules set by the older generation and uh some even say that millennials are not keeping the traditions of older generations alive that's why story number seven is at the t is at the top two it, it is it is it is uh, amazing how we're seeing this story develop and how we're and how i'm seeing uh, a story where you have a teenager. I, I just couldn't believe it when I see the teacher. I, I believe it's uh, Asperger's syndrome or, or autism they were talking about. And uh, seeing her come and they just get in front of all those people. She did, prepared a speech and they gave her the microphone and she just lashed out. Uh, it, it was it was uh, interesting, but it made me look and, and look at the data. I, I, I had a chance to try to look at some of the data that I looked back in the past. I still think that we, uh, I, I still think that the earth changes. I think it goes in cycles. I think that the earth is too big for, for, for man to be causing a lot of these problems. I think, uh, I think there need maybe, but I, I give, I give, uh, the generation credit that it is getting a lot of people's attention. I just think that the earth changes and I don't think human mankind has been here long enough. I don't think we've had the technology the intellect to understand how complicated this globe is. We don't, we, we're even physicists, are, they're still understanding the laws of the universe. The, the globe, the universe is complex. And uh, I, I, I give the girl, she's got heart, uh, but understanding this planet, even understanding that there's places that humans can't even go, we haven't even discovered on this planet. So this story uh, is, a, is, is, is a different story. But it, it, it shows you that 
children are watching and they, they have a voice. 11 year old boy drove 200 miles to live with a man he met on Snapchat. This even shows you how technology is changing, how we communicate. So story standing in the these are these are different generations. Now this man on Snapchat is probably much older than this kid. And uh and the, even the, you look at the drug trade, how this generation is trying to catch up with the fact that the older generation has put drugs into the community. The fact that the last generation may not have been as sharp as this new generation. There are some children that are literally smarter than some adults. So that's why that's why story number seven it, it it gives us the ability to do our research and to see what these children are talking about, to see why they're, they've reached a global stage. It gives us all an, an opinion to talk about. It gives us all something to talk about and something to, to engage in dialogue. Some people may not understand racism. Some people may not understand supremacist groups or, 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 or why people do the things that they do. This story gets us to look at it from a generational standpoint. Some people may not understand why President Obama uh, was, an, was a constitutional scholar or why he studied the Constitution so much. is because his he looked at the fact that uh, African Americans were enslaved at the beginning and he may have been anti-constitutional. Some people may not understand Trump's way of thinking or his style. He comes from an, a hard knock, mob-ruled, FBI informed hard knock politics, but his generational style, his style of leadership is affecting the new generation. It is inspiring kids to get involved with some things that we, even my generation, the millennials, I may have been brought up on Michael Jackson, but I may not understand this new school music that I listen to. The kids may think it's fun, but I may think it's offensive. So you have to look at each generation and how how this is all combining into one big uh, topic of discussion. But in, in all actuality, we are all just looking at the points that man, who, our fellow man, writes down and we just study. Uh, new AI cameras are catching texting and driving people behind the wheel. Technology has changed. Millennials, people who come from the new age, may be a little bit more informed. It may be wise to keep an eye on your parents, your older parents, who may not understand everything is computerized. You cannot skip a payment. So that's why story number seven is at the top two, because it's the ripple effect of each generation. That means politics, old school versus new school, new school versus old school. And that's why story number seven crept its way into the top two. And that's why it is in the top two. And that's why it is at number seven, because you can see it happening on a global scale when you see a little child, a young child, get on that, a global television and address the issue brave enough to do it i give her credit and uh, I, I give all the scientists and all the people who are on the front lines of of trying to prove that climate change is real if they have a voice in the fight they're putting up a fight and that's why story number seven crept its way in me personally i think uh the world just i think it just changes i think it it, it revolves in cycles but that is my opinion i'm no greater than the person who wants to look at the data because I look at the data and if the world is warming, if, if, if we could prove that we're causing it, so be it. But I think that, uh, I think that man is just a needle in a haystack when it comes to how big this earth really is. Story number seven, you're the meeting with me, Brian West. I saw she wrote, if you want to be a contributor, help out my cause in any way, as you can see, I'm doing my homework, I'm researching, I'm reading, I'm dibbling, dabbling. Trying to find that needle in a haystack of a story that may keep you informed. Dibbling and dab dabbling through probably uh, 200 or more bushels of, of, of news stories, of, of paper, to find that story to keep you informed. So if you want to be a contributor, you want to help out anyway, M-E-T-H-O-D, the number eight, I-S-C.com, method eight.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor a program. Every little bit counts. Or if you want to check out the stories that did make it in or almost made it in, all you have to do is visit the website. Like I said, I am just a mediator staying in the middle. The news journalists, the people on the front lines deserve all the credit. So if you want to be a contributor, all you have to do is visit www.mbthod, the number eight, inc.com, methodate.com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor a program. Everybody counts. If you need help, then dial your operator. Have no fear, fellow citizens. The mediator is here.